Game, BM so won well, the uh, ball game. Trying to make it look attractive, and it's upside down as well. Right? It's, it's fabulous. Well, oh, um, let me have a little look. So basically, it's um, I mean, I've lived in Brighton all my life, and I do, I, I do love. Are you Brighton. born and bred, by I am, oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh my goodness! I know. Rarely. Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at this a rare look breed. Like. This is what they really look, <laughs> look at, like. Look at the lines. Well, they, you kind of look like someone that could have moved down from London a little bit <laughs> with the with the, the polo shirt and the yeah, and the no, flat I'm, cap. Yeah, and, oh. thing is, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm, or or is it the other way round? Was that? Londoners being influenced by Brighteners. No, I think Brighteners always been influenced by Cockneys a bit. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're close enough, aren't we? We can always hear Bow Bells. Um, so yeah, um, I've lived all my life. So this is kind of a distillation, really, of everything I love and also everything that I don't love about Brighton. You know, um, love and hate is too strong, but the things that wind me up, or I think need to be poked fun at. So it's a send up of Brighton in its funny sort of ways, but it's also uh, a celebration of the place and its, yeah. its character and its history. And to that degree, it's kind of really for people in Brighton, you know, it's, it's, it's crammed full of in-jokes and local characters and celebrities and the things that you only really like to know about if you spent a little time here. So this is the third edition of the game. This is the third edition, this is the brand Take new one. Take us through what kind of updates you've done then on well, this one, or what kind of revisions. Visibly, um, there's new areas on the board. I, I, okay, I, right, Paul. So you're going to give us a little tour of this third edition. So we've yes. got some new additions to the game, BM1. Well, the... Um, hang on, just a um, Yeah, the, the most notable sort of changes are on the board. I've added Devil's Dyke in, which somehow, yeah, fell off my radar before. <laughs> um, the Jack and Jill, which technically isn't in Brighton, but it's, it's visible from Brighton, so that's good enough. And, you know, it's a nice place. Yeah. Uh, Stammer Park, again, don't know how that got left off the map, but um, I think there was a lot of concentration on the town side of things, but I've also added the patch which is that nice little community oh, area behind well, on the old um, Lewis Road railway line, isn't it? So, um, yeah, so that's all added in. And um, with regards to... And the new stadium, or was that always... No, that was already on that there. That was already I mean, in things there. Things have been neatened up. The ball's been balanced a bit better. Um, and, oh, a score track around the side now, riding pebbles to keep track of how you're doing. Oh, excellent. And there's about 70-odd new cars, because the thing is with Brighton, of course, things change quite quickly. Um, yeah. Various things come and go you get new eccentrics and new features um, so that's one element of it and another thing I wanted to put in is more of the history of Brighton as well so you've got things like um, um, notable Brighton ghosts old Brighton memorabilia that you can collect for instance oh, wow. the old Brighton voltage LPs which are these um, punk rock compilations that were put out on the shop in Sydney Street from oh, the end wow. of the 70s um, so yeah, there's lots of things like that in there now, because the thing is, the kind of history stuff never dates, because it's already set in stone. Do we go into Hove? Uh, no, we Not don't. Really. We end at the West Pier. <laughs> I, 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 I like that. <laughs> bright mums is bright mums. Exactly. Uh, I have no, a thing about Hove. No, the BN2 actually takes up a large section of the board. Um, yeah, BN2 the, the does. Yeah. That, but yeah, it does. You've got all the Kent Town. Yeah. And um, yeah, go, well, it stretches really from the marina to the West Pier. Fantastic. One end, Devil's Dyke and Stammer Park, the other. So it's, a, it's no ordnance survey map. You wouldn't want to use it to find your way around. No, but, no. Um, but it's, it's reasonably accurate. Excellent. How many, how many have you sold? Um, well, of this first and second edition, there was uh, a thousand were made, and that, they both sold out. And Zombie M1, which was the follow up. Oh, yes. Uh, which is, you know, much more of a fantastical game. That's that's on the um, cusp of catching up I've got a few left and this um, I don't know how many it's sold yet because I'm, I'm trying not to bother the shops every day to see if they need any more so, no, no, yeah, yeah. so um, it, but it's, it's selling I mean um, can they buy it direct um, yes from, website, your, from you from your website UK. I mean that's my preferred method because you know, yeah. I don't have to share the money with anyone um, yeah. and also I'm doing loads of Christmas fairs and the run up to Christmas but they're all listed on the website so that's, fantastic yeah so that, that's a sort of nice way to do it because we have a matter as well um, okay so, so tell yeah. us a bit more about the game and how you play it well then. the idea is um, players compete to have the most interesting day out in Brighton um, this can be done in a variety of ways but everybody starts at Brighton Station with 50 quid in their pocket and that's another thing that's new about this game the old one had paper money but this has got nice cardboard coins with oh, stars awesome. so that's kind of a bit nicer um, so you they haven't got game. smartphones no, no. <laughs> it's <laughs> the Apple it's Pay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be the next edition yeah um, so um, for instance obvious sort of example come up um, every player starts with a destination card in this case Brighton Pier the destinations range between the obvious places like the pier and the pavilion and then lesser known places like Rabbit Roundabout and the Pet Cemetery in um, Preston Manor so you reach your destination you can get there across any route through Brighton so here you can go through the North Lane you can trot down 
by the level and so on. Once you get there, you get the points and quite often you get something to do there. For instance, if you get to Brighton Pier, you can gamble on the fruit machines. And when you get there, awesome. you score the points, get another destination. The sewer is quite close by and so on. Um, but the real sort of um, thrust of the game is what happens on the way. Yeah. It's as much about okay. the journey as the destination. So these tiles here, when you land on one of those, you'll yeah. have a counter, which... Uh, you can bump into Nick An Cave. An encounter. Ah! Of, and they range from, yeah, oh, I love bump that. into Nick Cave to... Uh, oh. and Nick Cave. Um, awesome. some, some of the cards were done very much at the last minute. So you've got the People's Republic of Brighton and Hove in there, which... Uh, and that was, the ve- that was actually the very last card to go into the game. Um, oh, wow. So they feature. They had to. Um, and the thing is, with things like that, you always wonder if it's going to be a flash in the pan and they're going to disband by the time the game's come out. So you've got <laughs> Skateboarding Dog. Um, he's no longer in Brighton, so oh, I think they no. moved. But things like that leave a bit of a vapour trail I find yeah. so people remember him for a couple of years yeah yeah so there's I've tried to basically I just walk around Brighton with my eyes open as much as I can um, the tobacco tin messages that you get in the basket makers pub there's a lot oh, of things like yeah. that oh yeah oh my goodness that's oh, and so great also um, applicable to Brighton mums is the yeah. children's parade yeah oh I was going to ask you if there's any mums mums things oh yeah there's plenty um and then also, um, as you go through the game, things build up on the map. So, for instance, um, you can put out these city event cars. Brighton Pride's one of them. There's a few. There's like the Vintage Car Rally. Patchfest is in there, which, because um, I love it so much. Is that, <laughs> is that a new edition or was um, that in Patch the... Patchfest is a new edition. It's in here somewhere. Oh. There's so many cars Patch to Fest wait through. Um, but yeah, it's in there somewhere. There's the Great Escape and so on. Yeah. Um, oh, there's Patchfest. Yay! And so when... Patchfest. When those cards are drawn, it's where it's at. So, for instance, say, say somebody draws the patch vest. Sorry, yeah, you're yeah. right. So I'm in the beer tent. So you'd put one of these little things onto the patch, and the first player to get there, so it kind of becomes a race to score those points. Similarly, yeah, yeah. Uh, Max Miller, uh, a Brighton ghost. So yeah. they, um, these little ghost icons come onto the um, Theatre Royal in this instance. So yeah, you um, the other events you can find lost wallets, get mugged, um, <laughs> oh take part in. Oh, um, actually, one of my um, one of my, Actually, if I had a favourite card, yes, <coughs> it would probably be this one, which um, is somewhere. This thing, that, you know, it, this game is bristled with content, as you can see. So it's um, ah, yes, here we are. The Argus Troll Challenge, where all players compete to blame something on the Green Party or cyclists. So there's a ah, oh, I, I, I love this. <laughs> Having been, I used to blog on the Argus, so I'm I'm a victim of Argus trolls. The thing is, yeah. I, mean, I think the Argus. It, 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 you could you could transpose that to any local oh, newspaper, website, radio station. They are they are a, particularly crazy, vicious in Brighton, aren't they? And they're very imaginative, though. Oh, very I would say yeah. you know they're, they're one of the sort of uh, more. You've got to hand it to them. Oh, uh, it can be so obscure. You can be reading it, going, "Hang on, what? Yeah, what did he say? What's he going on about?" Like well. you know, you, when you don't really understand the trolls. Yeah, no, it's always entertaining. So uh, there's loads of things, but um, it's, I like to sort of think it's Brighton in a box, and it's it's the only way you'll ever get to go to Pride, the Vintage Car Rally, and Patch Festival in the same afternoon. Uh-huh. So that's obviously got to say. Is that things. your strap line? That's my strap line. <laughs> I've memorised it. Now. Um, so yeah, you you buy things from shops, like you can buy instruments to go busking with. Oh. You can buy the Birdie Man's whistle to annoy the players with. That's in there. Um, which apparently he's very happy about, which was nice. I never, oh, I never thought brilliant. to ask him. There he is. Um, so while all of this is oh, going that's on... Great. Uh, it is go. quintessentially bright it's, and it really yeah, is. It's, it's, it is. It's everything that I love about Brighton and also the things that I love to hate about Brighton as well that's the thing yeah. and as the game plays on you'll build up this deck of cards they're sneak cards so you keep these hidden from other players um, so for instance say if somebody did bump into Nick Cave you could then decide that they carry them a distinct odour so Nick Cave doesn't have any just them <laughs> similarly <laughs> somebody might busk with a guitar or didgeridoo or whatever and you've decided that actually they've got no music license so okay uh, somebody might get to their destination and you've decided that actually I've lost the card, that it's close to repairs, things like that, they're hopelessly lost, so on. So you can play these cards against other players to try and prevent yeah. them from winning. So the game turns into a bit of a squabble fest with these cards, which I think is the, the, the most fun part of it. <laughs> and for the fourth edition, will Cuffs <laughs> make it in? <laughs> oh, what? Well, you know, I should have paid more attention because Cuffs was being filmed while I was making this. Oh. So I yeah, I should have. Um, well, I think time attention. will tell on that. It's had mixed well, reaction, yeah, hasn't it? Has it? Had moment, and the other thing is, you've got to watch out for ephemeral stuff because something that happened with BM1, especially early on, um, I had local shops and businesses wanted to be on the board, and some of them were offering money, which I, I didn't want to do because the game's supposed to be a send up, and you can't have 
one card that goes on about how great a certain place is. No. But the thing is, things like that kind of go so quickly, it's the most surefire way to date the game. So from that point of view, I try and have stuff either that's obviously kind of, kind of enshrined in Brighton or something that's historical, which will never date, or something like Skateboarding Dog, although he's left. Yeah. People still remember him, and I yeah. think they will do for a couple more it's, years. Uh, see, yeah, see what we've got um, to. It's Disco Pete. Disco Pete was the next is, car uh, on the deck. There you go. I'm glad actually because uh, when we when we did the other take, I called him Dancing Man. I should have known. <laughs> I'm just outed myself as a as a not a as an I know. Yeah, yeah. But it, um, Disco Pete. I think is one of Brighton's most durable characters. Yeah. Um, and I think I'm sure it'll happen with all of us. If ever I was going to make a BM1 set. 3,000 years in the future, there would be a cyborg disco peak there. <laughs> and he's the, the person that everybody immediately is drawn to. Um, what about a Hove edition then? A Hove edition? Have you, have you been asked about that before? Uh, but people have asked if there's going to be a Hove expansion. The idea of bolting on no, Hove onto no, the board. No. Might, okay. <laughs> I've got to rekick my I money. Think, I think you need to ask the Brightonians first about that. What, and see if they'll permit it? <laughs> I think there should be a vote. I think people are happy that it's just contained in Brighton. I mean, um, yeah. you know, if you added the Hove edition on, what would you have on the board? In yeah. all honesty. Yeah, they could get their own game. They could have their own game. Exactly. They want There's enough going on there now. A Hove yeah, insurer. No, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and no, Portslaid, maybe. Uh, people have asked about additions in other places, but yeah. you have to know somewhere, like the back of your hand. Really, and and this like is this. really what comes across when you're talking, Paul, is that, you know, this is, this is built over your lifetime knowledge yeah, of exactly. the city that you were born um, and raised in. And it's been tremendous fun and I, I, I really like the fact that, um, that people seem to enjoy it. Um, and I mean, I, my, fa- my, my very favourite encounter with this game was, in fact at Patchfest, I was doing a stall there, and this young girl came up with her mum, she must have been maybe 10 years old, and she saw the game and she said, oh mum, mum, that's the best game I've ever played. And I was sort of starting to bristle with pride and then her mum said to her, what other games have you played there? And she sort of stood there and thought for a second and she just said, Twister. Oh my god. So oh, it's on record that this game is better than Twister. Excellent. So there you, there you, you go. <laughs> well, thank you very much for talking us through the game. It was a pleasure. Thank and you. as a reminder, they can go to your website. Bedsitgames.co.uk. Um, if you're going to any Christmas fairs, I don't know when this is going to go up, of course, but any Christmas fairs between now and then, yep. I'm more than likely to have a stall there. Um, there's, a, there's a load of shops in Brighton that sell it. Um, Amnesty Books, Waterstones. England at home. Uh, again, on the website, there's a list of stockists on there. Yeah, so. I saw that. There's a list of shops in town yeah. that, that stock the game. And I think it'd be the best Christmas game ever for any discerning Brightonian I or anybody that loves Brighton yeah, in general. I couldn't agree more. No, there you go.